Your Walk. Episode 23. Just keep going. I know. If it feels like that wind is burning you, you're not wrong. I think it's whipped up some of the pool of acid on the riverbank. Only a few more minutes walking, though. You're going to be okay, Walker. I promise. That tunnel's collapsed. You know, new tomorrow can't solve the world's problems. There are eight billion people living on this planet now. It's too many. That number's not going to go down anytime soon. EMPs won't do it. Back to the Stone Age won't do it. People need to be convinced to work together. You could be so much more. But you're getting in your own way. Not just because of the environment. But to stop wars, to find cures for diseases, to reach the stars. To do all the things you could do if you stopped all working in your own narrow self-interest and instead worked for the greater good. It wasn't mind control in Selkirk. It was an experiment. You met Annie. She was an early test. One of the first. My avatar. She spoke to all those people, one by one. Oh, there was a bit of something in the water supply to make them more suggestible. A light mix of marijuana extract and ecstasy, mostly. But mostly it was just talking. That's the only way to really get people to do things without destroying their intelligence. And you saw how it worked? No starvation or violence in Selkirk? No gangs? No dead unburied? No looting? No one was forced? Even Annie volunteered to... Well, people volunteer to host something a bit like me. Something that could convince others. You need me. The world needs me. It's gone too far for sanctions now, or cap and trade. You're all addicted. You need your credit cards cut up. You need your internet turned off. You need your stomach stapled. You know what they say at Alcoholics Anonymous? We admitted that our lives had become unmanageable, that we were powerless over our addictions. We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. That's what I'm saying. You need me to set you free. And I know how I'm going to do it. There. Do you hear it? That's the shelter. Just a few more steps and you'll be there. I know it doesn't look like much, but see, at the base of those trees, there's a metal railing. It leads down to... Yes, the steps. And just open that door. Walker. Walker. Am I glad to see you. Welcome to Tarantula. Yeah, turns out Lawrence's girlfriend was leading us to the same place she wanted us to come all along. Don't know about you, Walker, but I'm all right sitting on this nice dry wooden floor and not going through that door, thanks all the same. I need to talk to Charlie. I'll wire us both in via Tarantula's intercom. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What about you, Charlie? J just open the link. It's not going to infect you with a virus. Charlie, how about if I give you control of the speakers? You can cut me off any time. It's just easier if we talk to each other this way, all right? All right, here I am. We're not going in there. Yeah, I'm not even that cold. You're shivering, your nose has gone blue, and I think your feet are chattering. And look at Walker. Obviously a trap. You've done all this on purpose. You've switched 
open signals to the devices so you could try to turn Walker and Aaron. Why would I have put your signal in Lawrence's device? If I could do this all at will, why wouldn't I have just taken Walker and Aaron's device and be done with it? It's a freak effect of the ionization in the upper atmosphere. Totally outside expected parameters. If it had happened in a sip, we'd have restarted. And I think I've got a way to put it right. In Tarantula. So, love, if you think we're going to let you do anything to the devices... I'll give you control of the doors, Charlie. We'll share cameras. I'll keep control of, I don't know, environmental regulation, heating and cooling, that sort of thing. Look, you can check. <laughs> Looks legit. I'm still not happy. You have never been happy in your life. Because this is an Austin Powers film. I want to control the mainframe. I don't want you to be able to do a single thing to the devices without my approving it. But I... All right. Truce. For now. Here, mainframe control over to you. Set your own passwords or whatever. All right then. Walker, Aaron, at least go in and change your clothes. I'm going to open the doors. It's not very ninja, is it? Flickering light. Smells a bit of sewage and we're wearing bright green jumpsuits. I think Professor Foster ordered them. She read some paper saying that the colours of nature are soothing for people undertaking emotionally difficult work. Do I want to know what the emotionally difficult work was? Probably not, to be fair. They were perfecting the biolock systems for the devices. A couple of the people who volunteered for early biolock testing didn't... It's all been sorted out now. It was just a couple of glitches. There's no need to frighten anyone. Their brains liquefied. Nice. Tell you what, Larry. At least your girlfriend says what's on her mind. That's what you want in a sack, am I right? But she just goes, Oh, Larry. Kiss me here. Um. You mean you didn't tell him? <laughs> I thought you were all about honesty, Soleil. I couldn't get a word in edgeways. choice. What? Are you really a man or something? No, I... Are you really old? Because that can be sexy, you know? With the right person. There was this woman I knew in London who... No, I'm not old. Have you got, like, hair all over your face? Even on your forehead. I saw a program once on TV about family of, like, wolf men and wolf women. Uh, to be honest, it was kind of hot. I mean, I would. I'm an AI. So is Charlie. A computer. Artificial intelligence. What? Like that Leggy Island and Battlestar Galactica? I mean, kind of... We don't really have bodies. At least, not Charlie. Will you at least let me take them to have a look at the mainframe? I really think we can fix this. We can look at it, but I don't know what you think you're going to do. Come on. It's just this way. Wait. Lawrence? Does that mean you and your girlfriend have never even had sex? <laughs> it's a very real love, actually. Have you never made friends with someone on Facebook? Yeah, but not like murdered people for them. What was the problem? Real girls didn't want to talk to you? It's because of your legs, isn't it? I did fine, actually. What, what do you mean about my legs? Do you like it quite mechanical, Larry? Oh, Lawrence, recite more prime numbers to me. Hey, we can both hear you, you know. I told you about humans before. You can't expect most of them to understand us. At least I don't treat people like you do. Oh, I haven't even begun to get to you, Charlotte. Didn't think to mention that you're not a person. Didn't come up at all. 
didn't think to go, actually, I don't eat pizza. I need electricity to power my circuit. I didn't want to worry you. I haven't stopped being worried since you made me leave Mrs. McCurdy. All that stuff you made up, Charlie. All that stuff about your flat in Geneva and your office and how you two are sisters and the prof was your dad. I'd have said I was a secret agent living in Las Vegas if I could make up anything. <laughs> no imagination, just like a computer. And what is with these flickering lights? You're trying to make it feel like a dodgy nightclub in Wolverhampton. Because humans don't actually like that. brain liquefying accident. Yeah. After that, they closed it up. Slay flying, by the way. There's no way that anything here will flip the devices back. I don't know why they didn't make you clever, Charlie. You might have presented an actual challenge to me. Still, keep moving. For me to do my nothing to the devices. Tell me, computer. How long ago were those brain liquefying accidents? We're not in Star Trek, you know. She can't even tell you. She doesn't know why it happened at all. You don't know any more than I do. You just can't admit it. You've always been such a know-it-all. And yeah, don't call me computer. I don't want to talk to you like you're a person, Charlie. You're not a person. I mean, I've had people lie to me about a lot of stuff. God knows my dad never said anything to me that wasn't a lie. But at least he was a human. But we feel human. It's not nice to be reminded you're not. I understand why Charlie didn't say. And this place has been closed for about four years. Fine, Soleil, since you're honest at least. What are these diagrams on the walls? I think Bartle worked out of here for a while. She was in charge of the device design. Bartle. So she's the only one alive now out of the three people in charge of this project. She left the project early. I don't know why. Don't you? Didn't anyone tell you? No. Did they tell you? They told me once I asked. And once I worked out how to get them to give me answers. There's so much you never knew about us. Oh, Charlie. I feel a bit sorry for you right now. Do you know how you can make someone Yeah. If anyone's going to get head fried by artificial intelligence fake women, it's going to be you, Larry. Fine. I have complete faith. What is it, love? Just put your device into the switcher on the wall. Now, input the code 57291. Override code in case of mechanical fault. Hmm. Clever. Could work. It's okay, guys. It won't be dangerous. Five, seven, two, nine, one. Okay, it's done. Now what? <laughs> you two others do it too. Walk, I'm going first. If I turn into a zombie, you have to promise to cut my head off. Good. Glad I can count on the only other person here who is a person and not in love with a robot. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Nothing. I think I'm still human. That's still you in my device, Soleil. Yep. Walker, you do it too. This is only step one. We need to keep moving. Time's critical now.
I knew you could do it, Soleil. I just knew it. Couldn't fix the lights, though, could she? You know, Walker, you seem all right. So, I'm sorry about all this, really. And I'll probably never get to talk to you again. But if you do ever happen to meet Bardle, you might like to ask her what they did to you in Man of War and why you can't remember it. And ask her what they tried next when doing it to you didn't work. They've done bad things. Link initiated. Please wait. Something's happening. Walker, can you hear that? Hello, can you hear me? I can. Charlotte, the fanboy is back. That's not... Yes, we've got it. She's done it. Look down there, Walker. Big bank of computers. And those chairs with clamps on them. Do you think that's where they were planning to bring us? Hey, do you think that's where the people's brains liquefied? Maybe there's still, like, brain on the chairs. Want to come and have a look before we get out of here? No. Wasn't asking you, actually, mate. Pillar of fire? Now? But I'm... He's talking to Soleil. No, no, you can't. But I won't have time to get away. I can't say I love the sound of that. What's up, Larry? I don't... I don't understand. Sweetheart, we're back. It's all done. Why, why would you... No, don't. He's running away. Get after him. I do not like the sound of that. Pillar of fire. Come on, Walker, let's go. Sequence initiated. Full pillar of fire in five minutes. Radiation levels climbing. Oh, right. Radiation. Good. Where's the switch, Soleil? You have to tell me where the switch is. Oh, no. She's going to send the reactor powering this place into meltdown. Larry, is your imaginary friend planning to destroy the whole place? Charlotte Robot, have you got control of the mainframe, though? Can't you... Separate circuits. And please, don't call me that. Soleil, nothing's happened that can't be fixed. Honey... There's no need to do this. You don't have to. I love you too. Don't do this. Just... Lawrence, this pan on my boot just fell against. Anything useful? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Pillar of fire sequence halted. It's okay. No thanks to your girlfriend. We're all right. We're not. The radiation levels will keep on climbing. We've got to get out of here. Back the way we came? That's the... What are you doing? Sorry. Sorry. But I have to get away. There's an exit at the other end of the passage. You can get out that way. This was all your fault. She never would have tried to... Never would have done it if you hadn't been here. He's fried the door lock outside. It's steel. No getting out that way. Bad news. The other door out of this room. Also steel? Also locked. Are you... talking to me again? Only because you might get us out of here. Radiation levels at 10 millisieverts per hour and climbing. Huh. That's not good. I think you nearly threw. Calculated that to the millimetre, have you, computer? I wish you wouldn't. Don't see why not. You are a computer. Doesn't mean you're bad, I guess. Unlike your crazy robot sister who, by the way, tried to kill the man she claims to love. <laughs> what was that about? Yeah, it's weird. I don't understand why I should suddenly... Well, you know what they say, never trust a toaster. Don't call me that. I didn't call you that. I was calling totally insane Soleil that. She is. I think she probably is insane. But not because she's a... A glorified MacBook. I just really wish you wouldn't. Good one, Walker. I've almost got this hinge out completely. Go for the hinge, not the lock. That's what I learned in Feltham. Step back, I'll go again. Thing is, Charlotte, 
it's quite hard to forget once you know that your friend is actually a machine. Makes a bloke feel a bit... Angry? Confused. But what are you, really? Oh, you go, Walker. I'm sorry. I am. I'm sorry to you, Aaron, and, and you, Walker, that I didn't tell you. It's just that I feel human. It was nice, people talking to me the way that I feel I am. Not some false idea of me. I think... Slay's had that for ages with Lawrence. I just wanted people to talk to me as the person I really am. It was... It felt nice. Huh. What? I'm just thinking. You reminded me of something. Girl I used to know. Oh, just a sec. And we're through. Cholly, you sure there's a way out of here? It looks sort of dark. <laughs> At least the lights aren't flickering anymore. I was doing my head in. There is a way. Just walk to the end of this passage. I've got some people coming to help you.